Well, the Bulldogs really got to start efficiently. That was a problem. 25 minutes of rough play, and then they came back and outscored Northern Michigan 4-1, to one, out shooting them 17-8 in the third. That was 4-1 to one in the last 35 minutes of the game. So the Bulldogs can start on time. They're going to be in good shape tonight, Tyler. No question. I mean, you love to see teams score outscore them 4-1. to one. you got to do it over a 60-minute span, though. And maybe the Bulldogs can do what the Wildcats say. Get a good start here on home ice. Get the puck on goal. Get Reichman working a little bit. Like you said, four goals in that last half of the game for Reichman. And maybe the Bulldogs can try to do that again tonight. Maybe put some pressure and get the win here on home ice. We're trying to press his way by. Here's Dielstra right in. Drag move. The shot scores! Mitch Dielstra! Oh, what a beauty there! And he's got his third collegiate goal and second in as many games. Wow! What a shot by Dielstra. Just coming in late, pinching in, and that is one of the few times... Harrison that the pinch actually works there for Ferris keeping the puck in right at the blue line and all the Wildcats on the near side of the ice and that allowed a great opportunity for Dielstra to just walk right in and pick bar down over the shoulder of the goaltender Reichman transit ahead of him Finner slips by Finner right in drag into the front what a save rebound they score Ethan Stewart make it two to nothing Ferris State What a play by Max Finner to get the puck on goal. Reichman with a great first save, but right on the doorstep, right behind him. Ethan Stewart finishes it off. Look at the hands there. Look at the toe drag. Great save, though, by Reichman, but right place, right time. Ethan Stewart, give him two on the season, Harrison. Came into the year with not even scoring a goal. That's two now for Ethan Stewart. Pass into the corner. Back up top, Vanderbeck. Pounds the one-timer. Nice block there by Ethan Stewart. Here's Transit and Stewart on a 2 on 0 shorthanded. Ahead for Ethan Stewart. Stewart back for Trans and he scores! Short-handed goal! Oh, what a play by Stewart to Transit, and the Bulldogs lead it three to one, or three to nothing, rather. Well, Ethan Stewart, how about that? A goal and an assist, holy cow, this, I mean, geez. They shoot it, there's Newhouse down the right side. Vanderbeck lost his feet, gets the puck back, backhands it into the slot, here's Nardi, dragging with near side, a shot, they score! Vinny DeMay on the power play with 16 seconds left. It is 3-1 Ferris State. Cochran slowly drops it off for Nardi. Nardi into the middle, dropped it off. Van Unen pumps it on. They score! Van Unen on the four-on-three power play. And now Salman Kangas is going to come play it, and they score! Oh, Salman Kangas out to clear it, and they gave up a breakaway, and it goes off the Wildcat and into the empty goal with 4.49 to go here in the second period. And they... McCallion around the outside. McCallion cuts his way in. In front, they score! Cole Norris gives the Bulldogs the lead! With 5.7 on the clock in the second frame, an excellent play by McCallion to Norris. Well, I believe the Bulldogs, Harrison, will take advantage of the rush here if they do stay so themselves. Great play by McCallion and great job. Top of the zone. Two on four, and the Bulldogs will just let... Vanderbeck, go, oh, he scores! Oh, a shot there, and I don't know that anyone was expecting it. It's a snipe for A.J. Vanderbeck on the power play. Vanderbeck, in all alone on Salman Kangas, and he scores! Shoots, and no goal, it hit both goalposts and didn't go home! Oh my gosh, Jason Branshaw hit both goalposts, and the other direction, Merritt scores! You have got to be kidding me. I think they're going to go and see if this one went home. They're going to look upstairs. But Branshaw looked like he hit both goal posts and potentially the crossbar. Oh, the Bulldogs celebrate. Branshaw scores. We're tied at five. In front, got a man, Nardi. They score. It snuck under the pad of Salman Kangas and over the goal line by an inch. And the Wildcats pick up the win here in overtime.